So in question number 24, we have two objects. One of them is resting and the other one is sliding under it. The two kilogram object is being pulled and is going to slide under the one kilogram object. The one kilogram object is fastened to the wall, so it's going to stay at rest relative to the ground, not relative to the two kilogram object, but anyway. So there's my free body diagram for my one kilogram. Obviously, I'm going to have my mg and I'm going to have normal. It is moving relative to two kilograms to the left. So there's force of friction, static or kinetic. What do you think? Correct, kinetic because it's moving and it equals to force of tension. Then goes into my two kilogram object, gravity as before, normal. A reaction has an equal and opposite reaction. Kinetic friction, that away, is the kinetic friction between the two kilogram object and the floor. Now, if I am looking at this kinetic friction, it is to the right for this one. It'll be the same magnitude, but it's going to be to the left. So it's going to be force of friction kinetic from the one kilogram object. This is from the floor, if you will. All right. I also have force of pull of 20 newtons. Now, what is the tension in the rope attached to the wall? Well, that's easy. Tension is going to be mu mg, and it's going to be 0.4 times 1 and times 9.8. Now I just realized that I'm missing the weight of the 1 kilogram, so I need to make my normal force a little bigger. Now let's be careful with normal force. Go ahead and find it. Is going to be 2 times 9.8 plus 1 times 9.8. So basically the normal force for the two objects, you just look at them as 3 times 9.8, 30 minus 0.6, so 29.4 newtons. Force of friction between the two kilogram object and the floor is going to be 0.4 times 29.4, 11.8. We need what is the acceleration of the two kilogram wall block. So net force is going to be 20 minus 11.8, which is my force of friction between the floor and the block, plus 3.98, which is the force of friction between the two kilogram object and the one kilogram object, 4.22 newtons. And therefore, my acceleration is going to be 4.22 over 2. 2.11 meters per second squared. You're welcome.